Remember our hero Iron Fist? Is it possible to see Iron Fist again in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? You'll get all the details regarding the Iron Fist Marvel movie in this video, so let's start the video. Danny Rand, aka Iron Fist, fights very hard to get everything that he's lost in the Marvel's Iron Fist, which comes on Netflix for the first time on March 17th, 2017. Iron Fist was not a real character but a fictional superhero who made his introduction in the Marvel comic book. The comic was created by Roy Thomas and Jill Kane, and Danny first appeared in Marvel premiere on May 15th, 1974. The character was one of the students of martial arts and he had a special force known as the Iron Fist which allowed him to summon and focus his chi. This ability he has obtained from the city of Kun Lun, which appears on Earth every 10 years. Danny became the star of the series that was created by him. He was also the one who shared the titles of Power Man and Iron Fist for several years with Luke Cage. All these superheroes made by him were made in partnership with Luke. Danny largely appeared on the screen with the daughters of the dragon duo of Misty Knight and Colleen Wing. Danny was also seen in a relationship with Misty Knight, which was the first deep romance in the history of Marvel Comics. Later, the character of Iron Fist appears in many solo titles, including the immortal Iron Fist, which is the origin story and history of Iron Fist. Danny Rand, aka Iron Fist, has appeared in many series and video games. Finn Jones played the character of Iron Fist in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which was Iron Fist 1 and Iron Fist 2 between 2017 and 2018, which comes on Netflix. Iron Fist also appeared in The Defenders in 2017 and the second season of Luke Cage. Iron Fist, along with the character of Shang-Chi, Master of Kung Fu, came from Marvel Comics during an American pop culture trend of martial arts heroes in the early 1970s. The writer Roy said in a text piece in Marvel premiere on May 15th that Iron Fist's origin and creation were very much owed to the Bill Everett character John Amon, the amazing man created in 1939. Iron Fist makes his return to the Marvel Universe in a new Shang-Chi 2 fan-made trailer. One of the new heroes that joined the MCU in Phase 4 was Shang-Chi. According to some sources, Iron Fist is unlikely to be in the original Shang-Chi 2. But everything's possible in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so we have to wait for official confirmation. Thomas also wrote that he and his partner Jill Kane had started the new series Iron Fist because he had seen the first Kung Fu movie even before any Bruce Lee movie came out, and in Kung Fu movies, there is a thing called the Ceremony of the Iron Fist. And I thought that was a good name, and at that time we already had started the shooting of the Master of Kung Fu, but I thought maybe a superhero called Iron Fist, even though we had Iron Man at that time, would be a good idea. Stanley also liked the name of Iron Fist, so I talked to Jill about the character and he agreed with my idea, and we both designed the character. Roy talked about the 1972 movie King Boxer, which describes the Iron Fist techniques. Thomas also talked about the character's creation, and he stated that Stan Lee gave me the approval to introduce the character in the series. I contacted Jill Kane and we worked on the costume and the possible plot of the story. While moving forward, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel! Jill gives him the special identity on his chest called the Dragon Brand, which was inspired by the character created by Joe Simon and Jack Kirby. Because of Jill's thoughts, we also took some story ideas from Bill Everett's 1939 hero Amazing Man, which itself borrowed many ideas from James Hilton's novel Lost Horizon and the first movie made from it, which introduced Shangri-La to the world. The Iron Fist story from the MCU was highly criticised because some people thought the story was racist. It shows Iron Fist adopting another culture, learning its ways and becoming far better than the people who were born into that culture. What do you guys think? Is the story racist or not? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. That's why, with the announcement of the Iron Fist as a television series, an online movement was started with a demand to change the Iron Fist to an Asian American character to subvert the offensive and also to provide some depth to the character. One of the famous supporters of this movement is comic writer Gail Simone, who is also a fan of Iron Fist. She agreed that the character should be changed to Asian American. 
Then the role changed and went to English actor Finn Jones, whose performance was criticized by critics along with the show's depiction of Asian culture during its first season. Roy Thomas, creator of Iron Fist, defended the character in response to criticism, arguing that Iron Fist was created for a less PC time, while Thomas added that he had no problem if Iron Fist had been changed to Asian American, he was not ashamed of making Danny White. Comic book creator Rob Liefeld also defended the character. He denied that Rand's story was not racist and argued that changing his race to Asian was reverse whitewashing. Other commentators also have similar sentiments. While determining that Rand's origins were problematic, some felt that changing him to an Asian would reinforce the stereotype of Asians being proficient in martial arts. In a recent response to the racial abuse against the character and also the negative response from the television series, Marvel finally announced in 2021 that Danny Rand would leave the show and a new Iron Fist of Asian origin would be introduced with a new comic series started by an Asian creative team. Alyssa Wong, the writer of the new series, explained that it was impossible to know which ideas could cause controversy during the writing phase. While thinking that there would be Iron Fists of Asian origin before, Wong writes that all of them would be supporting the character in Danny's story, arguing that the new Iron Fist was an important step forward for the title. Wong also recognized Danny's big fan base despite criticism, fighting for him to play an important role in the new Iron Fist and saying that the new series would not erase Danny's history and legacy. The new series of Iron Fist revealed that the new superhero Swordmaster, who was from China, was of Asian origin as the new Iron Fist. Iron Fist season is considered to be one of the worst binge watch series on Netflix. That's why there's very little possibility of an Iron Fist Marvel movie, but the Marvel Cinematic Universe is very unpredictable, so nothing can be said. What do you guys think? Is the movie coming or not? Because I have no idea regarding this. So tell me your opinion in the comments section. Until now, Marvel Studios hasn't notified us whether they're thinking about returning Iron Fist or not. Jones has been very clear about his decision that if he gets a chance to come back, he will surely come back in the MCU. While there is no official news for Iron Fist, the original Marvel TV era is now considering new MCU projects. Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio made their returns as Daredevil and Kingpin in 2021. So who knows, we might see him. Well that's it for now, make sure that you like our video, please share your views and opinions in the comments section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated regularly with the latest news and reviews on upcoming movies from us and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video, we'll see you at the next one.